you know i think i think the overwhelm is more about um it is again about others um it's um i think it's to do with rejection mm. which i think comes from my mum um and i feel like i feel like she doesn't understand me at all and doesn't um she thinks i'm too much <laughs> um because she just doesn't understand me and i think that's a lot of the reason why i feel like i'm going to be rejected yeah if i if i show up as myself because she's always kind of rejected that real me in a way yeah yeah welcome to whole and unleashed a podcast about coming home to ourselves i'm your host jessica Locke, a holistic mindset strala yoga and human design guide this podcast is not about telling you what to do it's about sharing stories and tools to connect to your inner wisdom and maybe give you an extra nudge towards living wholeheartedly because deep down, only you know what's best for you. We'll be talking mindset, business, recovering from burnout, human design, transitions, and so much more. Let's dive in, shall we? Hello, welcome to another expansion session. Today's session is with Helen, a 3-5 sacred generator, split definition with the right angle cross of the vessel of love. We recorded the session in the summer of July 2023, so it has been almost a year later. And Helen had written in describing a little bit more about her situation, and here's how it goes. I have been caring for my parents, now just my mom, for seven years. I have done a lot of inner work, but I'm still stuck with what to do next. I want to coach women through problems with gene keys and human design. I adore your website and offerings and would love to connect with you. And at the time of her message, she's also seeking support and clarity in navigating other people's expectations and her tendency to people please and ignore her sacral authority. She's looking to create space to care for her mom and also run her side business, nourish herself. Some of the highlights about what we talked about is feeling disconnected from her incarnation cross vessel of love, struggling to find motivation as she navigates her role as a caregiver and her own health imbalances, her interest in living in harmony with nature and natural products, how she's creating a toxic free home, her pull to also share her passions and interests with the world. We also dive a little bit deeper into the expectations and disappointment from others that's prevented her from showing up as herself, which was an interesting little pathway to dive a little bit deeper about the resistance that she was feeling around showing up and sharing her voice because one of her core wounds is not being truly seen by the people in her life. We also talked about releasing mental pressure and so much more. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Helen. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. (laughs) I know we just did a breathing exercise and some things came up. Do you want to speak to that and we'll we'll see where it takes us? Well, yeah, because I I have um, the right angle cross of the vessel of love four. So Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be all about just love unconditional love for everyone and everything and myself yeah, yeah. which I've never ever had um yeah. so that's been a it's been a learning curve for me but just listening to you then I feel like I yeah I feel like I don't have it's more yeah I feel I feel like you're kind of all furry and squidgy <laughs> and that that nice energy you know the really nice energy that you just want to snuggle in whereas mine's more sharp I'm like you kind right. of wouldn't want to snuggle into that <laughs> Mm, so maybe that's not what you're here to bring to the table sharp direct yeah. is that how you feel like your energy feels like because you mentioned like maybe I can't work with women because of that why why is that coming up in that way do you feel like I think it's I, I think if, if if people are trying to heal they need they need that fuzzy space <laughs> <laughs> rather than so many I'm very direct um yeah. and to the point with things I don't kind of yeah Sugar-coated. But sometimes people people do need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm. yeah yeah like we need both of it and I, I want to dive like do we dive straight there or do we start talking a little bit about your human design or what you're experiencing yeah like what pulled you to write to me and you know to dive into your design a little bit deeper it was to, I love your website and just the way your the, your website is laid out it just I've seen so many other human design websites and they, they just yeah they, they they can be a bit jumbled but yours is just so it was just so beautifully laid out and simple and and to the point um and yeah no <laughs> I've just said oh I like things See? to the point myself haven't I yeah yeah um and yeah just the sort of the offerings that I wanted to bring to people are, are, are similar I think yeah mm-hmm. yeah 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 and I know you've been like caregiving for a while and you know balancing that and trying to find also like what is your joy how do I do the inner work like what I do especially when there's so much on your plate so yeah it's, is, it's uh, been oh, it's been seven years that I've been a, a carer for, for my parents yeah yeah and that in itself it's a lot it can be draining <laughs> uh, my dad had Alzheimer's so he was quite he, he got quite difficult towards I'm the end so sorry yeah um it was it was a blessing to be fair because he he went while he was still able to communicate and he knew everybody was he hadn't completely lost his marbles so it was a nice it was a nice time for him to go yeah yeah and like holding that space you we give so much of ourselves whenever we're taking care of someone else but especially when it comes to your parents or someone that you have learned someone who raised you but being in a completely different state that is a challenge for your body your psych your you know it it is such a I don't know how to describe this I can't even imagine because I've only seen it through my grandma and I'm like you know removed I don't see it with my dad dealing with this but I can see the impact it has on on us how how is it right now for you um I'm trying to get positives from it so I've managed to um in four years I've lost four stone um I completely turned my life around found human design and then jinkies um yeah. and I'm trying to look at the positive because I'm I'm spending so much time now with my mom it's the first time I've spent time with just my mom since I was about four or five before I went to school yeah. and I'm realizing now where all my where all those negative self-beliefs come from because my mom is just they're constantly coming out of her she's like a volcano erupting all day long with all these negative self-beliefs and I'm like oh wow that's where that comes from and so I'm using it now to kind of rewrite. It's 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 yeah, it's really showing things up for me. Um, so I'm very grateful for that part of it, definitely, mm-hmm. and what it's yeah. what it's shown me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you want to coach other women through exactly, yeah, because I don't human design. My it, it, it's my mom. She I just she doesn't need to suffer the way she suffers. Mm. She the, the, she didn't have to get to the state she's in. It's all the decisions that she's made throughout her life because she's now 81 and she's she's just very um she's very bitter about her life Mm -hmm. and she can't walk or anything she's she's completely immobile right um and she's very very angry (laughs) a lot of the time and if she'd have made different life decisions she Mm -hmm. could have had a different a different outcome and it could have had a different impact on me as well in terms of yeah yeah, my caregiving yeah yeah and you're kind of on the receiving end of it especially I am yeah yeah as like a punch, I feel like a punch bag some days mm. yeah 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 and you have the anger that she has for everybody else it's not it's, the anger's not for me it's for everybody else Ugh. but I'm the one who's there yeah yeah the one that gets released and you have a completely open solar plexus so mm. that means you are totally you know taking on like even if you consciously know it's not yours your body is also taking on that energy that she hasn't been able to process and in a way we can't really mm. process things for others, but it's almost like your body is trying to deal with that at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I can see what other people need to do to get better, to heal, to 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 save themselves. Yeah. Um, and I can see that quite clearly in people, but they can't when they can't see themselves, yeah, it can be frustrating. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you I guess, what are some ways that you, knowing that you have to be in this energy, how do you kind of release or detach from it when you amplify it, like throughout the day, throughout your years of caregiving? I'm, I I do struggle. I'm at night, I tend to be very, I'm, I'm tired, but I'm very wired um, yeah. because I'm not, um, my sacral's not 
it's not satisfied it's frustrated <laughs> um, and it, it just wants me to do something for me which is becoming yeah just more and more difficult yeah do and you I've got have nothing time? to I do but I've got no motivation yes. I'm very I, I don't know which direction to go in with, with anything at the moment um my dad passed away in um, November 21 and I just wanted to get through Christmas and New Year and then I don't know where 2022 went it just completely um I didn't expect my mum to go as downhill as she did when he passed away yeah um and I was in a bit of a yeah I was just walking around and sort of a bit of a daydream for the year and then when it got into 2023 I was like I've got to sort something out and so yeah I have been doing um doing a lot more I've been I've been clearing out that's what I've been doing I've been clearing so much so much stuff out yeah, um, yeah. it's just not necessary it feels so good to get rid of things yeah. yeah 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 and it's also like such a rewarding for your system it's almost like you were in mm. survival mode for the longest time because you had mm. to be yeah, yeah, yeah. you know taking care of people and now you're like okay I think I'm I'm feeling stuck where do I start and then it gets overwhelming because there's a thousand things you can do there are so many ways but you're also feeling exhausted from what you have to do from your day to day so how do we kind of like find that little step and hopefully you know through us talking it starts to become a little bit less close off in a way the possibilities mm, yeah 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 because I, I think I said I feel like I'm in this sort of prison but with a big picture yeah. window and I'm I'm stuck in this gray box yeah and with this this beautiful life that I can see that I can't get to um, and it's almost like it's almost like my mum's got to die for me to start living that's kind of how mm. it feels yeah. um yeah. like I'm her, I feel like I'm her life support she's she's sucking the life out of me yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. going to feel it's going to be very bittersweet when she goes because it's going to be I'm going to be free but at the same time she'll be gone so yeah it's, it's, like, uh, yeah that's really big conflicting feelings at the same time <laughs> right mm -hmm. oh yeah I don't so, want her to die but I'd yeah. like to have a life at the same time yeah <laughs> when was the last time you were able to because you mentioned I think like it's been seven years or more that you've been caregiving how was your life before that? What were you doing? I was actually, um, I was actually, I went, I'd gone back to university to do a master's degree in green mm -hmm. building. Um, and I ended up with, <laughs> I ended up with a relapse of glandular fever and chronic fatigue. Um, and that's, that's when it all started. And I, so I, I went on intermission for my course. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't, I wasn't working. It was a full, full time, I was a full time student. And so that's how I ended up coming from my parents because I didn't have a, yeah I I went on intermission from that to look after them temporarily yeah. um hoping to go back and I've never been back right 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 and that's why that's why I put so much weight on because I was just so I was quite poorly with the chronic fatigue right and trying to recover yourself as well on top of you know helping to support mm. others yeah, yeah, yeah yeah do you have any sort of support for yourself right now in your process no no um my my mum has two other children but they're not um they're just not interested in in getting involved um and um I'm yeah I, I live on my own so there's nobody yeah. at home to yeah do anything other than myself mm -hmm. so I know you shared earlier and I can totally relate of like seeing where your life is right now feeling the stuckness and also seeing the potential of the other side and that can feel so far that could feel sometimes hopeful but also like how the hell do I get there so what mm. do you see on the other side do you want to you know dive there like what does the other side look like right now I've been thinking a lot more um just the past few days about mm -hmm. um being around people just yeah. being able to to get up at um and, and go out at 6 a.m and just be in and there's somebody I follow on Instagram who lives in New York and he goes out into Central Park at yeah. six in the morning and doing his exercise and there's people everywhere <laughs> in his videos um and I don't necessarily want to talk to the people but I want to be around people yeah mm. I think my my environment is um valid I think where all where everything's happening all the bustle bustling's going on um in yeah. Hindustan, where people people would be yeah yeah, yeah um yeah. and I'm, I live in a village that's that's quite a sleepy village so there's not a lot mm. going on <laughs> right and what else would you do you'll be able to wake up at 6 a.m in the morning no I want to I'd love to just I'd love to not have um clocks and not not look at time 
I'd love yeah. to be able to get up with the sun every day, just naturally mm-hmm. up with the sun um, mm-hmm. and follow follow the seasons. That's that I really want to just follow the seasons and um, and hibernate m- more so in winter here right, when it's cold right. and dark. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then spring, you know, get, waking up in the spring and doing more and then summer being full on and yeah, then starting to slow down again in autumn, ready for hibernating in winter. Right, right. Because in a way, you've been in a season of a lot of shedding and purging. Mm -hmm. And, Mm -hmm. you know, and this is a lot. You're like, when is spring coming? When is like, you know, a little bit of hope? When do I get my energy back in little ways? Uh I haven't thought about it like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like waiting. It's like waiting. Yeah. I'm in an eternal winter waiting for the spring. Mm. Yeah. And when you found human design and Gene Keats, like what was the part that resonated with your design the most? Um, the three five profile. Uh-huh. Um I'm I was always a perfectionist and but actually I'm designed to fail. I've got to fail in order to succeed. <laughs> I can't be a perfectionist. Oh yes. This is a big <laughs> one though. It, it's That's like our one. mind gets it, but it's like, oh, what does it even mean that I need to fail to succeed? How does that feel for you? Like, like a scientist, isn't it? You've got to just keep going with the experiments, yeah. Until you yeah. And every yeah. every every failure is a is a lesson, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. The combination with the five can feel like a lot because the fifth line are always getting projections from others. So even when it's constantly failing, then the five might be seen as someone who doesn't fulfill you know, their expectations doesn't fulfill the projection. So have you noticed the tension between those profiles of like how people see you or how the projections they have on you, but also like the pressure of like, if I fail publicly, everybody will see it. There is that, yeah, and that's that's always been the pressure. But now I'm thinking, actually, that's that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to actually fail for people to see that Oof. and see that you can still have that love and compassion for yourself and keep going and that tenacity mm. and still, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you know we you talk a little bit about your vessel of love how you don't feel it but in the way you express yourself I'm like it, it is so present there is a love there is an appreciation and you know mm. it's okay that we feel disconnected when we read about our incarnation cross because it feels like you are here to do this it was like what have I been doing yeah I think I'm just literally, I'm literally here to be in jinkies that's the that's the city of the of the gate isn't it just to being just to be yeah and what does being mean for you what does that mean yeah right we need to unwrap that when also like how do we be when there's so much that is requiring our attention our energy right now like how do we be when we need to be giving ourselves because I want to really acknowledge where you're at it's not because of the decision or anything you're in a situation where you are taking care of other people and you're giving so much of yourself so no matter how much we can intellectualize these knowledge these wisdom it's like your tank is kind of half empty right now so how can we replenish it's accepting the situation and okay these are the stories that are making it very hard for me to even connect to myself because I am dealing with some people that are unhealed with their stories, with their choices, and I'm being on the receiving end. Everybody's unhealed. Yes, everybody's unhealed, (laughs) right? Everybody could go to therapy. Like it wouldn't, they don't need more. Yeah, they don't need more resources. Maybe they do, but they don't. They often I think that's life though, isn't it? Like you're you're supposed to be unhealed. That's the journey of life is to, peel back all the layers of the onion and get back to the core of who you are oh, yeah yes, I think that's just what yes. life is that's what life is right but then the journey can be so hard so how do we support yourself through it right now mm-hmm. you know what yeah, is yeah. the biggest you know you feel like you're very limited right now and I want to dive into that a little bit more if you're open to it you know what are some of the limitations we can talk about you know real limitation and sometimes there might be some beliefs and mindsets that are adding on to the real physical limitations mm-hmm. okay yeah, yeah 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 do you want to go into like how does your day look like like from start to finish on a day-to-day basis can I put a light on because I look like I'm disappearing on my <laughs> I know it's, it's getting up. darker <laughs> do a little bit a bit of natural light in oh, nice. bit it's still bright <laughs> Oh, there we go yeah um sorry where were we <laughs> how does your day-to-day look like 
um my day I I get um mornings mainly to myself mm -hmm. um I'm trying to um I'm trying to do more for myself in the mornings yeah. Um, especially around my health and I'm trying to get a bit more connected to my kitchen because I think the kitchen is where everything happens that's where all your your food is prepared and you can put all that love into your food um yeah. so I've been thinking about the energetics of food as well and you know if you don't know where your food comes from it could be full of bad energy and then you're eating that bad energy um so I'm getting a bit, yeah I'm, I'm trying to find out more about where my food is actually coming from and, and who's involved in that food yeah mm -hmm. um and yeah, yeah it's do um do you go to farmers market do you yes do yeah, you yeah, yeah yeah there's a there's a there's a, um, a farm in my village that uses them yeah. um, they're not organic they use a technique called jadam which is a mm -hmm. korean technique um and so they make all their own um yeah and pesticides and fertilizers actually on the farm from nature yeah it's all, yeah, it's yeah. all completely natural um, and it tastes amazing that... oh because <laughs> i'm like i'm sensing the light i'm like oh yes like you get so excited you've been talking about it so you get to do that, learn about your food. How does it mm -hmm. feel to be talking to people, to get to know them more and also like, you know, be around? I, I love talking to people. As soon as I, I, it doesn't matter where I go, somebody will talk to me. It could be yeah. a completely random stranger and they, they just start yeah. opening up to me and, and telling me their life story yeah. <laughs> or asking for advice. And I'm like, well, actually. Uh, <laughs> yes. Because I'm, um, I'm a quad right as well, aren't I? So I just know things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You don't know where how you're gonna know it or when is it gonna come no, out. I've got and... no idea what I know until somebody asks me and it goes, like, where did it come from? Yes, <laughs> just, yes. People have to pull it out of me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the vessel of love, if there's also this aura where people want to talk to you, where people are gravitated to you without you doing um, anything. You don't have to be anything other than yourself. I attract um I attract cats <laughs> a lot of the time. Yeah. Cat, cats won't leave me alone, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah it's that energy mm -hmm. it's that aura of like there's something about you people just want to share because they, you might be mm. just talking to you you might be able to give them a sense of direction where are they at where they can go that is what you bring I just can't do it for myself you can't a lot of these energies are to support others or to, you know, mm. somebody through a conversation with you, maybe it's a total stranger. They run into you and you start talking about something. It could be talking about carrots. I'm just giving an example about food. And then you start talking, talking. And then you might have, in this conversation, you might have changed their life in a way. Something might have happened. We're like, oh, thank you, Helen. I think I'm getting some clarity. You know, that is the power of this vessel. It's not something you have to try. It's almost like, oh, people are telling you what they're going through. And you're like, sharing your wisdom just as it comes out mm. as direct yeah, yeah. you know that that, that it's very direct yeah about. yeah yeah and that's what people need sometimes mm. everybody needs something different but that's a skill that you you are carrying it always comes you. to a place of love for, yes. for, for yeah it's what they you know it's what they need yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Do, do you see your incarnation cross playing out now more without the pressure mm, of like you're yeah, love yeah. everywhere <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, your day, you spend a day seeing where your food comes from, cooking, and then what do you do later? Um, I go to my mum. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm with her most of the um, afternoon and into the evening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is she like, right now, what's her state? Are you able to talk to her? Does she hold conversations? Yeah, we go. Well, yeah, she, she's, she's, all, she's fine cognitively. She's not, um, she's not lost mm -hmm. marbles or anything, but she's, she's just so in her own head. Yeah. with everything that's going on she doesn't hear anything that I say mm. um and she doesn't she doesn't remember anything that I say to her because it's not it's not gone in because she's just yeah. she's too in her own head thinking about about things yeah 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 and you see her holding on to a lot of suffering that doesn't feel well it, it's it, it, I can see where the emotional um things that she you know it, it's it's caused her physical suffering she's in so much physical yeah. pain but mm. it's the emotional pain coming through physically Mm. The, the body her body's literally screaming at her to do something about it yeah um because that, that yeah that's what happens if you don't deal with with that emotional pain it will manifest in something physical mm. yeah 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 so when you're together do you get to spend any bonding time what do you do together yeah. if you don't mind me asking just to get a sense of like how your day looks like so um, it's just it's it's cooking her food um doing her drinks taking her to the toilet um yeah. personal care um, and anything in the you know cooking cleaning washing ironing shopping 
yeah, yeah. Um, I have power of attorneys also. I look after all the finances, pay all the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when does it's... your you you come back home or come back? Well, to go home, back home. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's usually about seven, eight o'clock at night when mm. I get back home. So by that time, you're probably. I'm I'm very wired, yeah, because. Yeah if I'm I'm getting I'm getting later and later going to bed so I'm getting up later and later I've got less time to myself and my cycle's getting more and more frustrated and I'm getting yeah. more and more depleted yeah, yeah. and like yeah. in the gene keys the the um the first two spheres the second one is impacting on the on the first one yeah I get into that sort of self-denial um yeah. and the lack of self-care and yeah going to the, the gate of extremes isn't it I think I've got yeah um yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean you know a lot of this you know intellectually and what is something that your sacral enjoys we talked a little bit about food and I can see you like light up like the enjoyment of this is there something that's interesting because that I don't I don't feel about? like I I don't feel like I'm doing very well with my food mm. that's that's an interesting one yeah yeah how so what do you mean by you're not um, doing well with your food I, I follow, um, there's a, there's a, there's a guy in America that I follow who, um, had cancer. I don't have cancer, but, um, I follow his, um, anti-cancer diet. And so I drink a lot of carrot juice mm -hmm. and it's something that it does take a lot of, um, it takes over an hour in a day to, to, to wash all the vegetables that go in and juice them and then vacuum seal everything for the day. And I just, I struggle to, 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 I've been struggling at the moment, yeah, to do that. Yeah, yeah, because that's a lot. And is that something you really feel excited about doing, or it's more from an intellectual level? I like, do. I really, gosh. really enjoy it because I put beet, I put beetroots in. It makes it pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it looks really good, and it tastes really good. I really once it's made. Yeah, I love drinking it, and I can drink a liter and a half, two liters a day when I've, you know, when I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that something you wanted to do more of? That you're, it's hard to. Yes, yes, because of um of a health of a health issue I do actually have. I'm trying to yeah heal naturally, so yeah, it's quite imperative that I yeah, which is all to do with my sacral as well and my frustration. So it's something, yeah, that I've really got to work on. <laughs> well, sometimes when there's a bit of re resistance or when there's not a lot of energy, it could also be a sign. Maybe it's. Is that something you can do like once a week or every few days a week so that it doesn't take an hour of your time? Like we want sustainable practices, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, potentially. Um, because yeah, I've I've got um they just kill in the jars. Um and I've got a vacuum sealer. So I could, yeah, potentially make two or three days worth, yeah. Mm. Um and have that just in the fridge ready to go. Yeah, yeah. And then what other aspects of food do you like exploring? Is cooking something that you also enjoy? I do struggle with cooking. I really struggle to. Um, I struggle with the, with the whole self care, um, yeah. and, and loving myself. Um, but I think that comes from my mum always found cooking a chore mm. when I was at home when I was a kid, and it was always kind of a she had to do it. And I kind mm. of yeah, sometimes so it does feel like a bit of a chore. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, yeah, you've got to. It's part of part of your health, yeah, and and longevity, having good food. Yeah. Are there places that you can tag team <laughs> or people, neighbors? I'm just throwing random ideas out there so that you don't have to do it all on your own. Because something that I've recognized in myself, I also have the gate of extremes. There are times that I'm really yeah. good at sticking with something. And then depending on the season of life, I get so busy or I just, the energy is not there. And then I can't keep it up. And I used to beat myself over. And then I realized, okay, cooking is great. I used to love it. Now I don't have capacity or energy for it. So I kind of like soften a little, like cook whenever I have the capacity to do it. And if not, like, can I do takeouts? Can I eat food that feels good to me? How can I be more intense? Like, how do we adapt? Because with the gate of extremes, we can go on the other side. We can go on like super, super like healthy doing all those things. And then the energy is gone and we're pulled to another extreme without knowing. So how do you honor these extremes and not try to stick to it, especially when there's no energy, especially when we're exhausted, when our cup is like half empty? I, I'm i thinking about filling my freezer. Yeah. Batch cooking and filling my freezer. Then it's there ready. Yeah. So when I've got the energy doing the yeah 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 
yeah, getting and everything done. It. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and I know these are just some examples to do it, but yeah, sometimes we don't need to. There are little boxes that we inadvertently put ourselves without knowing. They start from a very good place. I study health coaching before I got into, you know, before I got out of my career. And I was learning about all the benefits of food, all the great things that I got so strict and I wasn't flexible. I'm not saying that's where you are right now. I'm just sharing as an example that I was putting myself mm-hmm. in a box. Like if I wasn't meditating, then I'm doing something wrong because I'm feeling so exhausted. I'm feeling burnt out. It must be all those reasons. And then, you know, after going through so much burnout over and over again, I'm like, okay, something, I don't think it's because I'm not doing enough. I might be doing too much and not listening to my actual physical and energetic needs. Sometimes Mm. I'm in a season where I'm meditating every day. Other seasons, I don't feel like it. I just want to go for a walk or I might just sleep in. Mm -hmm. So how do I adapt to that? And also realizing what is the judgment, because we all have this internal judgment that's like, you should do this, you should do that, you'll feel better when you do this. But if my body and my energy is telling me otherwise, oof, okay, how can I listen to both? Mm. Yeah, it's, it is a difficult one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But I think it's, it's about giving yourself more compassion, isn't it, for your, yeah, and not, yeah, not pushing yourself. Not pushing. Is that something you feel like, you're able to do to give yourself compassion I think I'm learning to do it more definitely mm. it's not something I've, I've been very good at um yeah. but yeah it's just yeah like listening to my sacral authority if it does if it really doesn't want to do something why why am I doing it yeah 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 so how does yeah let's talk about your sacral authority how does your sacral feel how do you connect to your sacral um I don't know how to describe it. It's just, a, I think it's just a knowing, isn't it? I don't yeah. know. You, yeah. yeah. Um, it is just that that gut feeling about something. The, the intuition. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. know how to explain it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You don't need to explain it because after all, your sacral is not connected to your throat, so you might not be able to. Express. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah, you might not be able to express what it was. It's just an. Are you able to honor that when it does speak to you? yes most of the time yeah. most of the time yeah yeah I'm getting better mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. does it feel like you have access to your sacral or you're in tune with your sacral yes yeah not all of the time but yeah again mm-hmm. it is it is getting better I'm getting more it's just practice mm-hmm. um yeah practicing and, and trusting um your intuition mm. yeah yeah so what are you it? look at examples from the past of where you have really trusted your gut yes and what's yes. Come from that yeah mm-hmm. do you want to share some of those examples where um, your sacral I just has supported I, you? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I tend to do dramatic things um I tend to um I tend to completely ignore my sacral and do what I think is expected of me and then mm. I throw a major paddy and 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 walk out of relationships walk out of jobs just do something really dramatic <laughs> right right which makes my sacral happy yeah yeah yeah. it's like that pressure mm-hmm. just builds and builds and builds and then I just finally explode mm. right and something the third line is also here to break bonds they're here to see what is working what is not working if it doesn't work it walks away relationships career whatever it is it feels it needs that. Oh. <laughs> yeah it, it needs that flexibility or it gets to renegotiate a bond like hey this relationship is not working for example, mm. using, you know, when you're caregiving for someone you care for, you you can't just walk away. That's not as much as your body. Like, I need it. Are there ways that you can renegotiate the way that you're taking care of her? Um, well, I, I have been trying. Um, Back in February, I, I woke up one morning and I couldn't move. The whole of my bottom of my back had seized up and I couldn't walk or anything. Yeah. Um, and my mum, my so in, in the UK, we have... um um adult social care and my mum does have external carers um but she needed I I was getting at that point I was um she'd stopped she'd stopped walking back in October last year when she had a fallen fractured her ankle um and so I'd been getting her up every day and putting her to bed every day and it was there were really long days and then having to just come home absolutely exhausted Um, and my my body just given up it didn't want me to do it and my, my back had locked up um but I ended up having to 
<laughs> I went and slept on my mum's floor for four weeks because there was no other options. I couldn't get any extra care in for her. I still yeah. had to had to keep doing that, even though I couldn't. Um, I was dosed up on so much medication; it was ridiculous just oh to keep God. me moving. Yeah. Um, and it's it took four months to get a social worker to come and see my mum to nice. update her care plan, and that's now it's nearly a month since she came, and we've still had no increase in her care plan. <laughs> oh my and it's gosh. exhausting. It's exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I am trying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's also only so much you can do, right? Because you're in this very, very tough situation where you are overgiving yourself to help someone else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like, it's, it's, like it's the cost as well. It's fight. just so, it's so, so expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, to, to, for the people, you know, to pay somebody else to go and look after them. It's just so expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. <laughs> um. So it's 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 cheaper for me to do it, but then at the same time, it's yeah, it has it's that. It's costing your life force energy. Exactly, in, in, other, energy. in other ways, it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it so? In a way, is it really cheaper for you to do it? No, it's not. But I don't have any. I don't have the yeah, finances. There's to no other anymore. option to. Um. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That is. A... I'm in a, I'm in a, a financial mess because of what I've been doing for yeah seven years. Mm. yeah yeah yeah. because you're not able to do anything else how are you getting resources how are you you know meeting I'm, I am registered yeah I'm, I'm registered as a carer so I'm on I'm on benefits um uh, because of that but it's yeah. not enough to um it's not enough to have a life it, I, yeah. I, you just exist on it yeah yeah I know you also wanted to start, you know, guiding people through the gene keys. Do you think you mm. have time? Is that something that is in the way of I, you I've got, I've start got, exploring it? I've got so much time. It's ridiculous how much time I have to actually do things. I just don't have any, um, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting out of those extremes and mm. actually um, I'm creating a plan, I think, for myself of how to... Um, I had to get up in the morning. I've, I've got no desire to get out of bed in the morning. I'm very, ex- I'm very excited at night before I go to bed, but come yeah. the next morning, I'm, I'm, I've got no interest in, and in even life really in the morning. Um, yeah. And it's a little, yeah, it's a bit bizarre. Mm, I mean, I just want to extend all the compassion because what you're going through, it's hard because there's so much to do and there's so much expectation from you, mm. and at the same time. It's it's not like you are getting your cup filled through this mm. exchange. So everything no, I'm you're not feeling no. is, yeah. is entirely valid. So it's not that you're not doing enough with your time. It's almost like, how can you even find little ways to be in your own energy, to cultivate to cultivate things that you need to enjoy when we're so busy taking care of our own health somebody else's health it's it can be a lot to manage and I you know I keep bringing that because it's it's not something that we can overlook because unless we can build the capacity for you to ah, like okay how can I hold all these very difficult things and also calm myself soothe my body at the same time Mm. how do we create the space for that because I know you also the sacral wants a container where it can share things, where it can renew itself. And it seems like when you're talking about food mm-hmm. or even like using gene keys and human design, it seems like, oh, maybe that is a possible container for the sacral to even spend time. We might not look how it looks like, like we might not know how the process looks like, but have you been able to even start the process of sharing about gene keys or human design with others because I know that's a desire that you have is that something you've been able to step in and see how it feels um no I haven't yet no um and I don't know why because I would really like to <laughs> yeah. so yeah mm. I think I'm very focused on um on on other things like with the the master's degree when I was doing the green building I'm very focused on on that sort of thing as well and it's trying to it's trying to combine the the two in a way um but I don't I think that's where I'm a bit stuck I'm I'm just not sure yeah it's the perfectionist in me that's trying to it doesn't want to start until it knows how to do it perfectly oh my god 
you also have the undefined crown the undefined Mm -hmm. head that will get so many questions so many inspiration and so many pathways and it can also keep you wired at night I can imagine Mm -hmm. (laughs) like oh how can I solve that because you do have a defined mind to your throat which means this defined mind energy might kick in very often in the way that you see the world in the way that you're making decisions because the energy is so strong there so how do we recognize that oh okay I'm going to be amplifying all the questions of every step or even micro analyzing every step that I'm taking for myself how can I relax that energy be like okay thank you thank you for giving me options like okay how can I right now also connect to this feels exciting to share what is the first step like is there a friend I could talk to just about human design or gene keys just let me explore because I think even having those containers of opportunities where you get to express that something that you're like passionate holding close to your heart can allow even the third line to start experimenting because at this point you're not even experimenting with what you're curious about Mm -hmm. it's almost like all those lack of energy yes but also the beliefs of like I don't know how this is going to look like I don't know how to integrate you know what I've studied from masters with this so you're not even starting to share because you don't know and you may never know until you start to do it and get the data remember your sacral also needs something to respond to and the way to get Mm -hmm. it is through data through interactions through these little mini moments is there any way where you can even volunteer or just share with like small with one person at a time someone that you trust someone you made Mm -hmm. a connection yeah is there somebody that comes to mind or a type of group you can yeah there's a few yeah there's a few groups actually that come to mind and people yeah yeah um yeah which yeah and that feels exciting actually yeah to get yeah 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 yeah. because our minds like the perfection of thought and your defined mind is probably organizing all the ways that you can share this and how you can package it and help people with this information which is great but this is like 20 steps ahead it's amazing Mm -hmm. thank you mind for being able to think this far right now I need to do a baby step and I will not have the awareness or the certainty of how it looks like but I also trust with your quad, right, that whoever comes to me or even through our conversation, I can see your wisdom, your compassion of like, this is how it is. Like, you know, how can I support people in these little ways? Just by allow yourself to share. Let your sacral pour this. There's this excitement that it wants to pour out. What is a container mm-hmm. that it can start? Maybe half an hour. You're like, hey, I'm exploring the gene keys. I'm exploring human design. Like, one volunteer because you don't want to take on too much either but you don't know how you're going to feel until you do it Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that just sound like yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) is it like yes (laughs) yes yeah 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 um my mind's my mind's still overthinking it (laughs) (laughs) it's okay it's okay it's not something bad your mind is going into options and if it is helpful mm. you even write it down you're like okay mind because all this energy wants to go somewhere your mind wants to be stimulated in a way your mind is always stimulated so how can you apply that stimulation not into problem solving for yourself your mind the mind is also an outer authority <laughs> it's almost like you are capable of supporting everyone anybody who comes into you so instead of using that energy to like focus it inwards and like, how do I solve my life? How do I figure out the next steps? Because that's not what the energy is for. How can I keep it okay. similar? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like your 1156, your channel of, I always blank on the channel names when I'm <laughs> the channel of curiosity, where you're able to like share your ideas and your stories with people. How can you use this energy and stimulate it in a way where it's not about problem solving to your life whenever it's trying to go that direction you might notice that it I really want to I really wires. want to um I really want to write a book yeah oh mm. tell me more about it um just about the um um just about <laughs> I'm thinking it again what's it about um it's more about me because uh, I've got um my the, the, my vocation is a line too isn't it so it's about sharing the ideas yeah. and I do yeah. just love sharing different yeah. things um and I'm thinking I just love to write when I yeah. when I start writing it just it just really flows and yeah. I love I do love to journal um and so I don't know if a blog would work and then maybe turning that into a book yeah um, yeah 
start you just instead of thinking and it all in it relation work, to me, that's a relation but the the when, when I was in my early 20s I had a collapsed lung and I was told oh it was God. I was told to give up smoking like I don't smoke and I'd got the lungs of a smoker yeah. um, and I'd got a blister that had popped and it had to be put down to pollution um which made me quite angry <laughs> of course oh my gosh um and so yeah I, I I've got a real beam of on it about what I have in my house and yeah. um I don't like anything um that smells <laughs> anything yeah. sort of smell like air fresheners and things like that yeah. um even people I can people can be really if, you, if I'm walking near somebody that's got too much oh. fragrance on it, it, it can irritate my lungs yeah um, yeah. and I have to walk away so it all comes from that about having a, a healthier home that's not that's, yeah that's that's not um, toxic to you because mm. yeah, even yeah. furniture can be toxic because of flame retardants and carpets and ca everything can be mm -hmm. <gasps> honestly if you're feeling pulled you have so much wisdom that could also save lives like yeah start by writing mm. and you know whenever you notice the judgment coming out you're like it's okay I don't need to post it it's fine I'll just write to see how your sacral feels because there's just a lot of creative energy this collective wisdom that is wanting to be expressed and it needs little mm -hmm. outlets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to die with knowledge in my head <laughs> yeah yeah there's so much you want to give but also knowing mm. like you know your energy is hard how can you give yourself the space to write to just express because the energy wants to be moved you know, the fifth line is externalizing energy. It is the heretic. It's here to share some really hard, blunt, direct truths, pragmatic solutions to it as well. And this is what we need because so many of us are asleep in our own potential. We're asleep in our own heads, asleep mm, in our own yeah. stories. And you see it. You see all of it. Also knowing that not everybody's ready to receive it. Like, knowing our parents oh, no, no, no. they are no. not ready to receive that they haven't done the inner work maybe they never will but now that we have the knowledge and we have the capacity to do it ourselves how can we start by sharing our truth one sentence at a time journaling and it can feel very vulnerable a lot of beliefs might come out especially when we're writing you know that's why people get writer's block because we add that expectation of like is this good enough is this good enough how is this going to look like these questions are going to come especially with your defined mind I'm telling you, it's coming and amplifying the crown, but just noticing it enough to be like, you know what? Writing is cathartic. Writing is therapy for me. I'm just going to write for myself and see how this can evolve. That's, that's interesting that you said that the writing therapy it used to be art. Art used to be my therapy. I used to paint all the time. And then I suddenly stopped and I started writing. Hmm. You know, of extremes it could be that your energy is just yeah. driving you to be expressed somewhere else mm. yeah I do love writing mm. and look at yeah. all my books I know <laughs> I was like you have such a lovely bookshelf <laughs> but look how everything's lined up like everything everything oh, in high order I love I the only thing I figured out was order. to use colors because I couldn't figure out the height and then some books stick out more than the others. It's hard. <laughs> it's just color, sort of color coded, not even properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. You see, I like that, but if I had, I, I couldn't live with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be too messy for me yeah, yeah. to live with. It's got to be, that, yeah. In order that <laughs> reads, yeah. How do you feel about these possibilities that we've explored so far? Yeah, I feel excited. Mm. It's something that, um, yeah. Um, yeah. I think writing is definitely, and just see where it goes. If it, you know, just listening to my sacral, because my, it's, yeah, my sacral is the one that knows what, what I need to do. Mm. That's why it gets lit up by things, because that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it might not have the awareness of like why you need to do it or when or anything, but it's just whenever there's a little like spark, it's like, okay, there is energy. Go. Mm -hmm. It's go time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Creating the environment for that because there is there is so I don't, much. Um, I, I don't I don't like houses. Houses don't work for me because there's too many rooms. I and mean, you can't you can only spend time in one room at a time. And I would prefer I had um 
I had like a it was like a download it was on a it was a new moon and I've never wanted to design my own house because there's too many possibilities mm, yeah rather renovate something because you've got something already to work with but I just had this um this dream about this house and I've just been in my mind I've been living in it ever since mm. um and it's just yeah I feel like it almost feels like the universe has given it to me but I've got to give it to other people it would be mm. a house for I, I can see the house being full of people all the time um enjoying the space and using the different different bits of the space yeah which is really bizarre <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I love how you start like, I don't like houses, but this vision came to me and this house feels really good. Something about the rooms. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not a it's it's not a it's not a it's not a house with with rooms. It's it's very um it's just very open plan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the changeable space, so you can use it however you want with you know, everything's on wheels, so you can move things around and yeah. yeah. It's also like a reflection of what you're craving for, the flexibility to you know do your own thing the flexibility to engage with people and also to retreat but still being very involved in a way still able to see everything yeah that's interesting yeah, yeah. Mm. like all these these little signs that we always get and you're you're in tune to it you're in tune it might feel like we're stuck you don't see anything else but it could be that you're seeing so much <laughs> that you don't know what to mm. focus on you don't, yeah 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 okay yeah that's true. Yeah. I have thought of it like that. Mm. Mm. I have made um I have made myself a whole set of like oracle my own oracle cards. <laughs> yeah. Um for rewriting my my negative self-beliefs. Every time something comes up, I I, I create a positive antidote yeah. to that. Um mm. and I'm I'm often asking the universe which one it wants me to to focus on for the day or in my sleep or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and how and has that to... practice been? It's interesting what comes up because sometimes it, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like I might pick so many cards and it's like, mm, but then when I think about it, it's like, actually, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's sparking. And you're also a split definition. So a lot of times you have a lot of ideas and it might not connect to your sacral yet, but it's almost like when you go to go to town, go like meet with people. There are certain people that help you kind of like make sense of your process. Things click. You need a little bit more of time for things to click. It's almost like it needs to simmer because your definition of the mind and your throat is like doing its own thing, organizing the information. And then your sacral, your identity, your spleen, all that is like running its own software until like, oof, okay, who are the people I can talk to? And then they kind of have a moment of like meeting together and you're like, oh, I know what the next step is. So knowing that this is a part of your process, when you're trying to like figure out the next steps, you might be able to see 20 steps ahead. Maybe the next step is simply acknowledging, yes, I want to write. Oh, this Oracle cards has, it also helps and adds to that. And then who can I share it with? Because splits are here to show us partnerships. They're here to show us co-creation. Okay. Yeah, I do have, what else do I have in my gene keys that's, a, that's about partnerships? There's something else, isn't there, about partnerships? my gene keys one of the lines I can't think which one <laughs> I don't know I only know gene keys by the surface so I feel like you know your gene keys a lot more than <laughs> I do but you know based on the mechanics of human design it's like yeah you're here to put something out there and see who people are going to come to your aura who can I collaborate with what is going to come out those are questions you're here to ask not to solve mm. yeah, yeah 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 not okay mm-hmm yeah, yeah, I know you're taking it. I can feel like you're really firing. Like, <laughs> I, I've got to. I'm. I'm. I'm always trying to be the fixer. Mm. Mm. Wanting to fix people, and that's not. Yeah. And if they don't want to, if they don't want to receive it, it's yeah. You you can't yeah, force yeah. It on them. Mm. Yeah, it's it's also hard, like because you're completely open. Solar plexus is taking on and dialing in what people are feeling so you might mm. be able to feel their grief their anger all that and your body is like oh I'm feeling it all like you might find yourself more sensitive as well because of even though you do have a defined speed it's like you're feeling so much and just recognizing I'm feeling this and I'm also not here to solve it for them if I haven't been invited in you know, so much of the energies in our chart like your 1156 your ability to problem solve for others is 
when you're invited in. It's not at mm-hmm. any time. It's when you're recognized. There might be people that come to rant to you about something, but if they're not really open, if they don't recognize you, you might be just ta- might as well talking to a wall. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people that are, yeah, currently that are like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They they want your mm-hmm. wisdom, but they also kind of want just to. Um, don't want it. They want to stay in and in victim mode. It's yes. their identity. Mm. yeah yeah and then you overexert yourself and because that's a projected channel you might feel bitterness there's nothing wrong with feeling that it's almost like a sign it's like oh okay this person was not ready to receive and I didn't feel good to move that energy so next Mm. time I learned is there recognition is there invitation so because the people who do recognize you the people that you do connect with your words have a cadence where it just touches like like an acupuncture it touches just the right spot I do um I do find sometimes I will talk to people and it's like I'm talking a different language yeah they look at me like they don't understand a word that I'm saying like I'm I'm, I'm literally talking a foreign language and yeah. it's like mm, okay <laughs> so I suppose that's them not wanting to they're just not wanting to hear what I'm saying like, yeah, yeah not like not wanting more like not able to receive it not able, yeah, yeah 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 because some people come wanting but you can also tell in their energy that oh they're in a different space like and maybe that's not a work we could do together right now but you know sometimes it's being direct as that like "Mm, okay I know you're sensing this but do you really want to talk about this (laughs) it might be uncomfortable (laughs) and they might open up or they might close even more and that's like okay protect my energy not everybody can see what I see because like your 1156 is this beautiful channel that is always stimulated like you always have ideas this is something that is like it wants fresh ideas it wants Mm, to test um... things out I'm like a three-year-old child I just I'm, I'm always asking why constantly yeah. I want to know yeah. how everything works <laughs> it is like the channel of curiosity right you're here to really yeah, yeah, yeah. you're here to seek you're here to see what works or it doesn't and there is a thrill in seeking so having new experiences you can tap into new things you can explore can be exciting and then that also gives your sacral something to respond to I think that's what's I think at, at the moment my life was like Groundhog Day. There's no, there's nothing new. There's nothing exciting. There's nothing, and I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I can feel, I can feel the pressure building. I'm getting to that point where I'm going to explode, and I'm going to just do something drastic. Mm. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah. So like, it's the 11:56 also telling you, like, you're here to be curious. You're here to seek new things. And and we mentioned like maybe it's like connecting with a few people and just sharing hey can I just share my human design knowledge with you I'm curious to see how that works Mm. yeah and that also gives you your your third line of chance to experiment and then to also make sure that you're not over promising things especially with the fifth line and people's projections they might have certain expectations that you never promised have you noticed that before in your life Oh, t- totally. Um, people are always so disappointed in me because I don't live up to that their expectations. Yeah. Their projections. But it's not disappointment yeah. in me, it's disappointment in their expectations. Yeah. <laughs> that they've that they have of me. Which is something um, so like now your I'm projections. Just, I'm just not interested anymore. I'm I'm here for me, nobody else. Yes, yes. My, it's my expectations of, that matter. You have a lot of individual energy too. So so much of your I have so much individual energy, it's crazy. Yes. And the the super hyper individual energy as well. Yeah, the integration <laughs> channels. It's almost like you're here to do your own thing. And the people yeah. who are watching you either okay. invite you in to get pulled along for the ride. But yeah, just giving yourself the space to be curious. And also whenever you are in a relationship with someone in any kind of relationship, you know, oh, human design, maybe 15 minute reading, whatever you decide to explore, set the expectations. It's like, look, we're purely going to just talk about these topics and just to make sure that their projections of you are like, they can manage their own projections of you. Mm. Because the fifth line, you know, they get projections in order to universalize, mm. in order to share. Like that's that's why they get projections. It can be a lot if you're not aware of them, a lot to manage because you feel like, why are people getting disappointed at me? But, you know, their projections is also something you can work with. And you're like, oh. But it's not disappointment in me. It's, it's disappointing. It's in their expectations. <laughs> yeah exactly exactly but you can always be like hey let me be very clear about these expectations to also ground yourself because the fifth line as much as it knows that it's others projections it can feel there's a fragility in people not really seeing them Mm. as much as like you know I have a thick skin it's also like but you don't see but this is not what I meant 
and we can control people's projections, but you can really at least refine them and be like, hey, you know, before you expect all of this, let's talk about the expectations. And it could be a good practice for yourself. So your third line can also keep making the mistakes without feeling constricted. Because sometimes those projections can constrict your third line as well. Okay. Yeah, no, that's interesting. I like I like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And just be very clear. So you can create an environment for yourself. So you get to explore, test things out, you know, let your sacral pour out that energy and also be like, okay, cool. You know, and people will tell you like, oh, yes, this was useful. This wasn't useful, whatever it is, because especially when you're doing human design and gene keys, you know, it is what people would get out of it, even though we can't control their experience. But how can you meet them or at least set the expectations so your fifth line is not like being projected in all the wrong ways? Mm. I think I think that's why I, like, I prefer gene keys to human design. Human design is just it's just too much. It just keeps expanding all the time. <laughs> the gene keys. More. Inkies is very specific. Yeah. There's only so there's only so much information. There. There's only so you know, there's only one way really it can go for each individual person. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. So it's more it's it's more condensed, isn't it? It's that condensed information. Yeah, mm. yeah. And you can test that out, right? Oh, how does it that's, feel that's, to share? That's kind of more direct. Yeah. Human design's more fluffy. <laughs> oh yes. It can get so Inkies deep and so spiky. Much. And just spiky. direct, isn't I it? Yeah. I like that. So yeah. it is because it, it does just yeah it's completely just it's almost just very black and white isn't it what information is there hmm. yeah 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 how does it feel now to be able to share that and like you know to that's bring exciting because that i think it definitely yeah. yeah it suits me more yeah <laughs> yeah 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 i can see like every time i can see it's like, it's like yes yes like there is something there mm. there is something there, there so is, yeah. Hopefully, yeah yeah how do you feel about your vision or the next steps do they feel more approachable and less daunting than when we started? Um, in me, yes. Um, I think it's still I've got to, I've still got to to do something, haven't I? Um, it's it's all right having, it's all right having that knowledge, but it's how you execute that knowledge. That's mm. where the power lies, isn't it? With it, it's no good to having the knowledge. You've got to, you've actually got to put it into action um to get something from it mm. yeah yeah and also at the same time understanding your capacity mm. it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. baby steps like what is that's the thing if I if I'm if my cycle's lit up I will go all day without food yeah yes <laughs> I just don't need to eat <laughs> that's the sacral how can you light it up in ways and also ways to unwind because you want to the reason you go to bed in your water, it's almost like the sacral wanted to be poured into something. So any creative outlet that you have, when you're able to, you know, create that space for yourself to like, okay, move mm -hmm. that energy out so that you can go to bed exhausted. That's ideal because when you sleep, that's when it like regenerates. And then maybe the next I do, day. But I, I do sleep really, really well yeah. once I get to sleep because I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that like the next morning... Oh my my, my bedroom my bedroom is pink and teal green um because I just associate those colors with the heart chakra yeah, and, and yeah. love so yeah I'm just wrapped in pink and teal green all the time yeah yeah it's like see even like the sleep this <laughs> just regenerating time and then when you wake up if things are hard it's focus on one thing at a time because again I want to make sure you're getting a lot of overwhelm from all the possibility of ideas all the things that you're seeking but unable mm. to do and it almost puts it in a place of like, well, what is the point if I'm unable to do anything? But how can we use this beautiful energy that is seeking and like, okay, how, how, how can I give myself a little bit of that taste? Move that energy. Because when energy is stuck, just like emotional energy is going to come out in other ways. It might feel like heavy energy instead. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's something I've just, there is something else I've just thought about. I don't know where it's come from, but... Um, there's a company that I buy a lot of products from in the UK and I've set up um, a collaboration with them on Shopify um, but I've not done anything with it so I've got all these products that people can follow my link and, and yeah. get discounts on and I've done nothing with it <laughs> even those products that I, I use all the time and I'm so excited about one mm -hmm. of them is a um, it's a waterless shampoo and it's amazing it's like it's like a it's like a cream but when you put it on your hair and get wet it just goes 
you get like so many studs everywhere it's amazing <laughs> oh my god you need to I mean if it feels good like, right it. about these things yeah exactly yeah. that's what I want to do yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. like create a blog and all that but also re- re- recognize when there's overwhelm of decisions overwhelm of things you want to do because sometimes that happens and also be like okay it's okay ground yourself you know I think I think the overwhelm is more about um it is again about others um it's um I think it's to do with rejection Hmm. which I think comes from my mum um and I feel like I feel like she doesn't understand me at all and doesn't um she thinks I'm too much Hmm. (laughs) um because she just doesn't understand me and I think that's a lot of the reason why I feel like I'm going to be rejected yeah if I if I show up as myself because she's always kind of rejected that real me in a way yeah yeah Mm. it's almost like she was never able to see past her own projections Mm. of Mm -hmm. you of who you are supposed to be as a daughter whatever the story she has from her generation her own mindset her own beliefs she was never able to see it so in a way when you are starting your own business or starting to share the things you really love this is a core wound it's like a childhood wound of like if the people that raised me weren't able to see me will anybody else yeah I think that's a lot of what it comes down to Mm. yeah yeah and the fact that you picked it out right away and based on this interaction of like you know an hour we've just met I see there is so much wisdom there is so much that you want to share with the world love passion please share it I I'm not just saying this because we're talking but it's like I can feel this energy this excitement of like the way you see the world is beautiful. And then also all the ways of it not working, of the things that are harming us, like we all need to learn mm-hmm. about it. And through people like you, that's how we learn. That's how we awaken. Something something else that I have actually, I don't know if you can see, or you might be able to see them just in the corner. Um, one of them, um, I, I use um, waste products to create artwork, but mm-hmm. that relates to um, an environmental problem that, the western world is creating that's causing problems somewhere else in the world yeah mm, please share um, that another thing that, i mean this this one's called james bond golden flea and it's about a, a it's about a golden flea that wants to be the villain and wants to take over the world yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually it's actually based on on research that's been done um yeah. over like 25 years to do with mm, things yeah so it's yeah. not just a, a random piece of art it's actually got a basis in scientific research yeah yeah like share this because this the energy behind it the intention behind it you don't know how it's gonna affect other people but you (laughs) need to be able to show that individuality that thing that you're passionate about because the world needs this like without people like you we would be stuck like we wouldn't see other ways Mm -hmm. until somebody else shows us Mm -hmm. yeah 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 and I think it's yeah, it's getting used to the idea that, that it's all right putting it out. And even if you, even if whatever you put out there, if it only helps one person, it's been successful. You don't have to reach hundreds of thousands of people, do you? You can just reach one person and change. You could you could change somebody's life literally. Um, even if it helps, and I think you. that's what I need to focus on. It's yeah, it can help me to share it, yeah. but then it could also help just one other person, which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and like because again people so don't much appreciate it or don't want to um don't want to engage then that's that's up to them isn't it and I've got to sort of exactly. let that go that it's not yeah. gonna be to everybody's taste yeah yeah especially with all your individual energy a lot of what you're doing is creating for yourself and those who are interested they will tag along they will be pulled into your energy they want to be a part of it or they don't you know but mm. You don't have a lot of community energy where you're like, hey, let's do this together. Not that much. It's almost like, hey, I don't here to do your that. own thing and then let people come. I can't, I can't deal with groups. If if this if there's if this well, yeah, with two people, yeah, one on one, that's great. But as soon yeah. as another person, I just go into the background completely. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. deal with new people Mm. yeah so how can you move your individual energy your expression all that that is like dying to be like oh let me put it into the world I think that is you know perhaps just allowing yourself to move that individual energy through writing through art sharing blogging 
I'm wondering, I'm, I do wonder if, have you joined threads? I'm on threads. Are you on threads? Yeah, yeah, I just started. It's been interesting. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Um, I'm not sure really what to do with that. I was never a Twitter fan in any way, so. Yeah. Same here. Weird. I never understood but Twitter. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there's a, I feel like there's a place for my Instagram and then there's a place for threads to be two different, two different sides of me, but the same. <laughs> yeah yeah explore play right like just allow your expression to play because art is not seeking to be critiqued even though there are critiques out there it's not seeking Mm. it just wants to be expressed creativity just wants to be expressed there's no beautiful there's no ugly it just wants to be expressed I don't know who the quote's from but there's a quote that um that's about, about art um and it's art is designed to or great art is it's there to disturb the comforted or or to comfort the disturbed <laughs> I don't know I don't know who said that where it came from but yeah I love that it yes. be somewhere. Mm. yeah yeah it has the ability to shock someone into like oh gosh this is not right mm. or be like, oh, really? like yeah mm. oh that's beautiful yeah <laughs> That's just something else random I, I, yeah I don't know where that came from <laughs> it's all that wisdom it's all that that's tried to be expressed right I mean even if you like podcasting talking to yourself you can also record that you know there there's options just like just to let your energy move is that something you're interested in like podcasting <laughs> and talking to myself I do that all day long I get more sense out of myself than people mainly <laughs> yes that just like my own like ramble yes on a well, podcast especially with your your mind connected to your throat this is energy like throat energy that wants to be expressed right and sometimes even soundboard and talking things out loud helps give yeah, yourself something yeah, yeah. to respond to because you need to move that mental energy out otherwise it's just like talk it out if you have a podcast or just start with voice notes just ramble nothing no strings attached <laughs> That is also an option. Hmm. Or a YouTube channel. Yeah. Just randomly, yeah. Yeah. Like there's a zillion ideas. Pick one or a few. See what feels good. Yeah. I don't, I just want to like also emphasize you're going to have so many ideas. Don't overwhelm yourself or don't think too far, but start with something that feels free, no strings attached, where, you know, where you're not attached to a schedule that you need to post all the time or anything just do what feels good like let that sacred energy and yeah. I don't like it's got to be more flexible and free flowing yes yeah yeah how do these options feel I know we went through like a lot I like the idea of the um I'm just talking it through on a on a yeah my own little sort of podcast rambling yeah. I love that <laughs> yeah yeah. you can also like get the ideas or like if you want themes like from your oracle cards or whatever like right through it talk about it (laughs) oh oh yeah yeah because they've been really helpful to me yeah yeah Mm. Yeah. the other thing that's been really helpful to me I've got um, a picture I did it in lockdown and I went through all my photographs and I managed to find a photo of myself from every year I'd been on the planet up to that point and I've got this massive poster just a photo of me from every year that I've been here so and I'll cool. quite often, quite often go and talk to my younger self and have conversations yeah. and things and then just recently more recently I <laughs> I got some photographs of myself and I've aged them in photoshop yeah and I've now got the poster of my um of my older self my future self at different oh. ages um oh. sort of there supporting me as well so I'm, I know that I've got the support of my younger self I'm doing it for yeah. her also I've got the support of my future self because she wants me to she wants me yeah. to do it yeah yeah, yeah. Really anybody helpful. who's listening I think that's super super helpful because we often it's hard you know to ground ourselves we're not really linear we're only in the present but we can also be in the future mm. in the past at the same time well, time yeah it doesn't exist does it time it's just yeah, it's, yeah. everything's yeah. happening all at once I think all time is happening all at once and we've got access to that I know all our ancestors and everything yeah yeah definitely please start a podcast or just start any kind of channel where you start just expressing that so your sacral can get more to respond to and so you can move that energy because right now there's so much happening that you're not really able to even express that 
yeah. yeah and I think it's just in I think the important thing is to just yeah just start sharing things and then just instead of planning where you think it's going to go it's just doing it and seeing where it goes seeing how it unfolds I'm thinking of a couple of people that I do follow on on Instagram and they've literally the things that they've done are just so random but they've just made a, a complete career out of of something so random because they've shared their passion yeah 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 and same here like more opportunities will come and then more clarity will come right now you're just like I'm sharing I don't know how it's gonna land I know I want to do something with it I want to do something with my masters about the environment I you know all that it's gonna start coming together but you don't know until you take one tiny step and then as you Mm -hmm. take each step it's almost like they come together clearly right now they look dispersed but each step it's almost like from another angle everything starts to you know art pieces where like one angle you see one thing and then when you walk to another angle everything comes together Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sort of like that (laughs) yeah so I'm creating my own yeah yeah my own art piece of a life almost yeah Hmm. Hmm. and that that works with the three five as well that's the experimentation isn't it Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. and then all the different projections all, all the pieces people will see that's fine <laughs> mm. they'll see something different but those that recognize you the projections you want to step into the people who see like hey Helen I think you can help with x y and z and if that's a safe or yes you're like yes I'm going to step into it otherwise also knowing people will have different projections of you they might misunderstand you and that's you know it's fine if 100 people know you you'll know in 100 different ways yes you, nobody nobody ever sees you the same way ever everybody knows you differently Things because of their own everything's lens that yeah. they see with yeah <laughs> yes through their own lens yes 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 <laughs> how are you feeling <laughs> oh I'm feeling quite wired actually um I it's what is the sun oh no it's still it's still quite light out there but I I go and sit out at dusk um to get the the sunlight at night and then I put my blue light blockers on um before I go to bed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we've That's untangled through a lot but I hope this is supportive for like you know the next steps just allowing yourself hmm. to move this energy yeah no definitely it's um yeah I'm gonna have to share with you my progress though can I do that <laughs> please please I always love it when people message me it's like it's been a few months it's been like please check in because I'm always grateful to be part of these journeys I get to witness (laughs) people's Mm, transformations yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah, please share with me (laughs) thank you okay yeah yeah (laughs) so I think that's helpful as well it's almost um it's like having a bit of accountability isn't it yeah Mm. yeah 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 share me you can share me your socials if you want again no pressure <laughs> I'm watching and no pressure <laughs> um well I, yeah, I think I'm, yeah, I'm following you on yeah even on threads I think I'm following you on threads oh wow. I'll find you I'll find you <laughs> is there <laughs> anything else that is present right now that you want to touch on dive in questions um If you're doing, um, do you need to have any um, qualifications to do jinky readings or human design readings for people? Do you need to have any qualifications? Do you need to? Do... I know you're supposed I... to technically have studied for two years, right? Before you can, you've got to have contemplated on it really for two years yourself, haven't you? Before you can, but do you? Is there it's any that... requirement to? <laughs> That's such a great question because I feel like it's such an big ethical question in the coaching industry and human design and gene keys. I think for my personal view like I studied with someone for like a year like intensive and then I practiced Mm -hmm. but there's also really great guides out there that are self-study as well so as long Mm -hmm. as the people that you're guiding with and you're like hey I self-study I'm curious I want to explore so they know ahead of time that's also setting their expectations like hey I self-study I think this could be very useful so they know like you don't have to keep defending yourself in that way but also like setting the expectations when you're starting off you're like hey I've tested this or like I've been so curious about this do you want to explore with me so they don't feel like oh you're going to tell me exactly what you do or they don't feel like 
you should know all the questions and all of that do, does that make sense mm, yeah, yeah yeah I think what I would like to do with the Keys is just give people the it's just giving people the information to work through it themselves yeah um it's sort of it's taking that complicated information and simplifying it down for people to understand I've got I think I've got that ability to do to do that with things um yes and that's why I'm thinking even just a, an art piece of of somebody's gene keys mm. um would be quite nice that's just then something for them to just have there to look at yeah to remind themselves of how the, the shadows here are Im- impacting on the the city up here yeah oh yes that could also be like an an offering if that feels supportive to do you know it can be an offering you're like we're going to talk about your gene keys and then you'll get an art piece out of it as well I'm just mm. throwing ideas for you too. Keep. Yeah. More ideas, more ideas. <laughs> more ideas, as if you don't have enough, you know? Yeah, and just setting down and, you know, always being aware of like how you're supporting people, the expectations you're setting. Some people are, this kind of work can come from very vulnerable places. And I've had people come to me being like, I've gone through a lot of trauma. I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm the only person who can support you. Sometimes there's people who require like professional help, like therapy and medication, mm-hmm. all of that. So I bring that to the table. I'm like, I think this might be helpful for us. And if you have capacity, we can work together. But I don't, I never position myself as like, I am the person who will help you with everything. So, you know, I think that's such a great question, especially with the projections, with how people are going to come to you. You're like, set those expectations. Cause you're like, I've been contemplating, want to explore, want to play around and see where we go from there. Because there are licensed professionals that are doing unethical practices as well so mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's true yeah mm. it's a <laughs> yeah it's a big question <laughs> lots of industries yes <laughs> yeah yeah mm. yeah okay yeah but I do I, I know yeah I, nobody's got the answers for you anyway everything has to come from yourself doesn't it gurus don't don't exist it's you are your own guru <laughs> Ah, yeah effectively aren't, aren't you yeah yeah how do we guide people back to that that inner it's wisdom just people. like you like there's so much wisdom that was like going around and you know it's there it's just waiting for the right people <laughs> to right people, yeah exactly right yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so it's about finding it's yeah it's about finding those people but they're not going to find me if I if I hide myself away like a hermit they're not going to find me I've got to be they're out there for people to find yeah yeah Mm. express put it out there it's gonna be a little bit vulnerable and comfortable at first but that's part of the journey right your three doesn't know until it tests it and then it find more ways to be comfortable in expressing in a place that there's a lot of people (laughs) Mm. yeah 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 okay yeah (laughs) you've got this you've got this (laughs) so many things going around in my head so many things but good things they're all good things I do I feel I feel so much more positive as soon as I start just talking to somebody else it, it does yeah. just lift me yeah just talking to somebody yeah mm. move that energy like otherwise when the energy stays inside and we're on our own it gets it is, is it, it gets I'm moving yeah. energy yeah we're not moving so it gets stuck it doesn't need to be transformed so much of these energies are to be shared with other people move with other people mm. yeah okay Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you for you. sharing it's your been, journey. <laughs> um, it's been awesome. Yeah. I've really, really enjoyed it. Mm. Thank you so much for listening to the Whole and Unleashed podcast. If you're feeling pulled to get into action and want to connect women, check out the Align and Embody Journal on wholeandunleashed.com. You'll also find resources on mindset, human design, an archive for past episodes of this podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, please share, leave a comment or review on iTunes and Spotify. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day wherever you are.